Hey everybody! So we're gonna do like a really impromptu thing, okay? Um, I didn't set anything up because I'm not supposed to be doing anything. I'm supposed to be cleaning the house, being a grown up. But I want to share with y'all. Um, so with the shadow work, I want to make everyone aware of something because this just came to my attention that you know part of living in 5d is seeing all our experiences that happen to us as opportunities for learning and that that's what being an evolved consciousness is is when something happens you know like i had an incident with someone in fact if you look on my comments for my video i had an incident with someone who we had a run in in walmart and we both perceive the situation completely differently. He had no memory of it. I see it a whole nother way. Well, being as though we're both involved in light and souls, um, when he commented on my video and he saw the way I responded, he immediately reached out to me on private messenger because he wanted to get to the bottom of it. Um, and we began talking about it, both recounting this situation and explaining our side and it was so beautiful because we didn't take anything personally because that's what the ego does immediately wants you to take the situation personally and get your ego bruised to where when the person reaches out you immediately want to shut them down okay we didn't do that we didn't take anything personally and we didn't make any assumptions and as we're moving through 5d we must look at everyone as our teacher your teacher here to facilitate the learning of lessons for the involvement of our soul we must take our little personalities out of it of like this person did this to me and I'm so offended and I'm not gonna talk to them a fifth dimensional enlightened consciousness says wow that happened that was a member of my soul my soul tribe that I made a contract with before coming to have that experience now let's be evolved beings Let's find the lesson and let's move through the experience. So we spent most of the morning discussing it and come to find out the experience was a huge learning for the both of us. But if our egos would have got bruised along the way down, we never would have had that conversation where we came together and figured out what the lesson was, the learning was. When you're doing this shadow work, a lot of times things are going to appear to you in your environment as attacks from the dark or as um, things to confirm that you're traveling the wrong way and all this stuff. We must in every moment see everyone, every experience, good or bad. In fact, quit viewing our situations as good or bad. See them as just experiences, just happenings. And be willing to be enlightened and get our egos out of the way and get to the bottom of things, right? Get to the bottom of things, find the lesson so we can move past the experience. So for any of you who are being subjected to experiences right now that could possibly be bruising your ego, don't let your ego get in the way and stop you from being open to learning the lesson. Because we are all brothers and sisters. We must not take things personally. People we have challenging experiences with are members of our soul family that we made a contract with before coming to have these experiences for the ultimate evolution of our soul. Okay? And be willing to have those conversations, those difficult conversations with people to get to the bottom of things. And you know when you're dealing with a fellow enlightened one because they'll want to get to the bottom of it too. And the people that don't want to get to the bottom of it or just not on the same plane of consciousness you are. Release them, no judgment. Send them on their journey. But view everyone as your teacher and as your brother and your sister and welcome the lessons. Okay. Second part of this message is I just posted a thing by Infinite Waters, Ralph Smart, and he's talking about COVID and the vaccination. And I wanted to let y'all know what I believe. You know, we have this big Saturn conjunct um, Jupiter, Saturn conjunct Jupiter. Jupiter considered the planet of luck and ascension. Saturn 
is kind of the planet that imprisons us. You know, there's a lot of Saturn cults and things. Okay. This conjunction that's coming December 21st, 2020 is huge. It's huge. It's going to be a pivotal moment. And of those discerning who are those enlightened ones who are choosing to ascend and who aren't. And I think what's going to happen is it's going to come down to the vaccination. I'm not telling you to believe me on what I think about the vaccination. I will tell you what I personally believe and then leave it up to you to do your own research. But this is one of those ones you don't want to get it wrong. They say that when 5G gets flipped on, the people that have the vaccination in them, it's going to start to morph and shape your DNA. Your soul won't be your own anymore. They'll basically be turning you into artificial intelligence. Don't think for a moment that these, vaccine, these vaccinations aren't capable of restructuring your DNA. Right? Be very careful and research other meanings besides mainstream doctor meaning of vaccinations. Um, warriors, stay woke. This will be one of these decisions, though, that you can't undo once you've started the process. And yes, eventually, if you don't have your paperwork, like during the Jewish Holocaust, you didn't have your paperwork, you couldn't shop, you couldn't travel. Yeah, it'll get like that. But I'd much rather have my soul intact and not be able to board an airplane. You know what I'm saying? Because like, you won't be able to attend music events. Ticketmaster is already saying it, right? They want you indoctrinated. And your mask is a muzzle to silence you. They want us having no human contact. They want us to have no emotion. This is an illusion. This is a matrix. You have the opportunity to wake up though. You can be in this world and not of it. I would recommend if you want to stay with your soul intact, and your ability to be a free sovereign being, I would not recommend getting that vaccination. Just my opinion. I love each and every one of you. I have to get major work done in my mouth. So I'm going to be quiet after Thursday, but um, hold me all in your prayers. I'm manifesting a way positive outcome with spirit. And after I get through it, I'm going to use it as a teaching to inspire y'all that have to overcome major things like this because this is pretty major. And I'm going to come out like a champ, dude, and I'm going to share. And I'm going to inspire. And I love y'all.